You don't deserve eternal life, but God offers it to you freely. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you guys about grace. Now, I've talked before about mercy, and I've talked a little bit about grace, but mercy is not getting something like bad that you deserve, and grace is getting something good that you don't deserve. And it's interesting because like getting something good that you don't deserve can make us kind of uncomfortable. Like this one time I came home from school and there was a present that said for Douglas and it was sitting in the living room and it was like nowhere near a holiday. It wasn't like Christmas or even like Easter or something like that. And it wasn't anywhere near my birthday. Like I had no idea what this present was for and so I asked my mom I was like mom what's this what's this present about and she said oh that's for you it's from grandma you can go ahead and open it and I was like why why did grandma send me a present my mom said I don't know go ahead and open it and I don't know why but I was just like so suspicious of this present like I was trying to think trying to imagine why my grandma would get me a present I could not figure it out and it was just making me more and more nervous like I was I was thinking you know somebody like trying to prank me here is my mom trying to prank me or maybe my mom isn't in on it like maybe somebody lied to my mom and they gave her this package and said it was from my grandma but really it's like maybe it's from my friends and if I open it it's gonna like explode into like glitter everywhere or something like that like this has got to be a prank or something right or like maybe there's been some huge mistake maybe my grandma thinks I did something amazing and I didn't do anything amazing and if I open this present and she finds out that I didn't do whatever it is that she thinks I did then she's gonna like take it back and be mad at me or something like that And I don't know why, I just felt like sick to my stomach after a while thinking about this present. Like, you know, who did it really come from? What, what's really going on here? This, this can't really just be a present for, you know, out of nowhere. Like, yeah, right. No way. I don't, I don't believe this at all. But finally I just, I decided, okay, I'm going to open this. I'm going to see what happens. But I was like, if this is my friend sending me like a glitter bomb or something, I, I, I'm going to outsmart him. So I took it, I brought it up here to my room and I opened the door like just part of the way and I left the present out in the hallway and, and the door opened just enough that I could reach my hand out into the hallway and I was going to open the present in the hallway while I was standing in my room so that if it was a glitter bomb or like a stink bomb or something like some sort of prank, it wasn't going to get me. And so I was like trying to like open the present through the cracked door my mom walked by, she's like, Douglas, what are you doing? And I was like, get back, mom, I don't know what's going to happen when I open this thing. And she was like, I'm pretty sure nothing's going to happen. I think there's going to be a present in there. And I was like, okay, well, suit yourself. Don't blame me if you get all covered with glitter. And so I opened the present and I peeked through the door and, yeah, it was just it was just a scarf in a box. Yeah, my, my grandma likes to crochet, so I guess she just crocheted me a scarf because, uh, you know, I don't know, she was just thinking of me. It was a good scarf, too. I took it, I, I took it out sledding a few days after that. But yeah, I was like, I was, I was so concerned about this gift. Like I was so worried about this gift. I thought, you know, maybe my grandma misunderstood or, or, you know, somebody was trying to prank me. And I never for a minute imagined that someone would just give me a gift for no reason. Because, you know, we get gifts all the time. You know, people give birthday gifts and people give gifts at Christmas and, and, you know, if someone graduates, we give them gifts or like if somebody, if somebody does something amazing, we might give them gifts or if they're going away, we might give them a gift, like all kinds of stuff, but never like nothing. We don't give people gifts for nothing. And I feel like for some people, when they hear that the greatest gift that you could ever receive is free, I think that makes some people really nervous. You see, our sin, the bad stuff that we do, and we all do bad stuff, it separates us from God in a really, really bad, like, eternal way. And because of our sin, we deserve to be apart from God forever. But God loves us. And so he made a way for us to be with him. He made a way for us to have eternal life. But that way cost him a lot. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Jesus, who is God, he came to the world And he lived a perfect life, and then he died for our sins. And if we believe in Jesus, we can have eternal life. That's grace. That's the free gift of salvation. Believe in Jesus, and you will have eternal life. And unfortunately, I feel like there are a lot of people out there that when they hear that all you have to do to have eternal life is believe in Jesus, they're like, yeah, no way. Surely there's got to be something more to it. 
And so they like try to earn eternal life. They'll think, well, so long as I do more good things than bad things, then I'll, then I'll deserve this gift. But no, if you believe in Jesus and you have eternal life, it is by grace that you have been saved through faith, through believing in Jesus Christ. And this not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. It's not of works. It's not, it's not because of what you've done. It's not because you deserve it. It's just a gift so that no one may boast. You can't brag. You can't be like, well, I, I have eternal life because I did such and such or I didn't do such another thing. If you deserve salvation, if you deserve eternal life, it's no longer a gift. It's wages. It's like what you get for what you did. But what you did is sin. Me too. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That's what you would get if you got what you deserved. But the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So my challenge to you guys today is that you would, well, you would accept the gift as a gift. Not try to earn salvation because you can't. And I hope that you're not thinking that, well, God would never forgive me. I, I can never have eternal life because of the bad things that I've done. You know, the bad things that you've done are why you need the gift. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of the glory of God. We all need God's grace. And if you believe that Jesus will save you, he will. Period. That's the gift. And hey, don't get me wrong. There are things that God wants you to do. And there are things that God wants you to not do. And we should obey him. We should follow him. We should do what he wants us to do and not do what he doesn't want us to do. But we don't do that to earn his grace. You can't earn grace. And we don't do it so that we can deserve the gift he's already given us. We can never deserve it. All we can do is accept it and do our best to thank him with our lives. It doesn't matter what you've done. God's grace is enough. And even though it can make me a little uncomfortable sometimes, I am so, so grateful for God's amazing grace. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, and I really hope that you will believe in Jesus, that you will accept the free gift of salvation. You'll accept God's grace. Again, grace can make us uncomfortable sometimes. There are a lot of us that we want to have just what we deserve. But let me tell you, if you get what you deserve, you're not getting anything good. And there might be people who would you know, honestly get mad if I tell them, you don't deserve eternal life. And if that's you, if you're mad about that, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way, but that's the truth. It's what the Bible says. Salvation is through Christ alone. And he came to save sinners. And that's you. And that's me. So let's thank God for his grace. And let's thank him for the gift of eternal life through Jesus Christ our